what's up guys so i'm using rui now i tried rui and trust me my experience was horrible so i'm flashing back to customs once again so we have a crazy dev he is one of the uh, what the devs who gives updates the fastest like uh, you will see all this is the real gt noto channel sorry for the bar because i'm uh, now uploading or recording at 156 am it's not uh, morning so you will see what i was talking was uh, okay this is by him uh, this is also by him and this is also by him you will see that uh, most of the recent posts are all by him anyways i already have it downloaded so the process is always same you need a 14 dollar rp download the rom format data and you'll put and uh, yeah this is the update i was talking about it is uh, one of the worst updates ever from realme anyways so let's uh, boot back to recovery and flash our rom and boom so what's up guys uh, we have booted into title rp so just need to go and install our rom for metadata and we are done so i was installing the a14 title rp you will need a14 title rp if you don't have it install it if you don't then your device will not boot so I have installed the A14 So I have it in compressed here. You can see Pixel OS Bitra. That's what the file name is. Just flash it. Okay, ignore it. All the errors. It is happening because of A14 having issues with Realme UI. Nothing else is a problem. So if you are using Realme UI, you will have issues. So like you can't even flask magisk if you are using realme ui and using a14 to rp so use a13 to rp if you are using realme ui and if you are using custom roms or a14 custom roms use a14 custom roms just uh, there is a little bit issue why we don't know about it so yeah just wait for it to install it uh, usually gets done very quick just ignore all these errors everything was success nothing to worry just come back come back and format data type yes okay we have formatted data okay so there was an error in formatting data now what you need to do is okay format data was not success so just come here it is all happening because of a13 uh, a14 dollar rp having issues with realme or nothing else just reboot recovery format data it will be done then you are done okay now we'll need to go and wipe again format data because it was not possible the previous time now you will see that format data will be 100 percent success we have formatted data everything is fine it happens just because of realme ui when you are going to realme ui to directly i have got that first time when i was uh, using custom for the first time also maybe this is happening because of a14 most probably i'm not sure because the second time i went from stock to realme UI, i didn't get all this type of errors so anyways let's reboot hopefully that will boot and we're sure that will boot so there is nothing to hope all right just wait for the pixel logo Else again, we have to format, which is a pain in the, okay. Arigato. It has booted. Give it a few more minutes and you are done. Okay. If you are getting that, uh, yeah, that error, that format data was not successful, then just reboot to recovery and you are done. Just format again and yeah. It usually boots quick, not like other rooms because it has no customizations it's pixel os ultimately you will be using a pixel device with the name uh, <laughs> you don't want <laughs> anyways so january security patch has arrived but however this has the december security patch it has a lot of uh, what do you call it bug fixes like the january security patch one so we are expecting that uh, their pixel os team pushes it fast so that we can also get as well so let's set it up welcome to your pixel thank you i don't have a pixel right now i'm poor let me set up my college wi-fi 
So guys, uh, if you'll believe me, the university's Wi-Fi which I'm using, the router, a single router, costs like eighty thousand. I googled it, and yes, I was right. So I don't know what routers are these guys using. My home router which I bought, TP-Link, that costs around two thousand five hundred, and how this router costs seventy five to eighty thousand. I yeah, I checked it on Google. The cost was that much only. It is for universities. This Arupa, that's the name. So anyways. Let's not go off topic. Let's go on topic. So we are installing our Pixel OS now. Just wait for some time. And once again, I'm saying, don't panic if you're seeing so much errors on screen. Just do as I did, and you will be fine. Also, your Tidal RP will not be gone as you are coming to custom. So please, you don't need to flash anything. Just forget your laptop now. Obviously, I can't forget because I have my game backup 30 GB. I cannot. You know, <laughs> download 30 GB every time. So yeah, let's wait for it to set it up, and then we'll be okay. Okay, pin is needed. So wait, please, guys. Pin is done. To last for pixel imprint, which I'll not do it now. I'll do it later. I'm not interested in giving a pixel imprint now. First, let's set up our device, and let me show you that yes, I have booted, and then okay, you see, we are ready to use our device. Fine. Yeah, it does come with one plus camera, which is a boon for many, and it has the Viper FX, which is again a different level thing. No customizations. It is just as expected. However, it has some spoofing. Like you can spoof uh, 120 FPS in games, then Netflix and all that thing is there. Location. I don't want to use my location. It will take battery unnecessarily. About phone. I am. I know. I'm not interested in revealing. It has the December security patch. Build number will be out. So obviously, as it is a Pixel device, so expect the Pixel launcher. Yeah, you can see it's the Pixel launcher. Also, whatever A14 stuffs that will also be possible, I guess. Widgets also we can add. I'll update the Google Apps so that I can get a really really nice at a glance widget. Oh, this lock screen also should be working fine. Yeah, the only A14 stuff. Like this, I'm talking. Yeah, this is the best which I ever liked. I tried it first on Evo X though. Uh, this is basically what uh, you'll get by default. I guess so. I have to enable a lot of things by default, so I will not uh, extend the video for you guys. Uh, so this video will come after I'm done with everything. Smooth display is there. Tap to wake, tap to sleep. Everything is there. Pocket detection is also being added, which is a really really nice thing. A lot of things have been added. Uh, what I'm really excited about is this uh, Realme camera thing. I need to use it though, obviously. And I'll add. Uh, there were some bugs like uh, if if you are using the phone and rotating it simultaneously, then there is some orientation issue. But if you are not switching your uh, device, like if you want to shoot horizontal and you are shooting horizontal. Or vice versa, then there is no issue. However, you can use G cams. I'll obviously be for G cam over this. It will be any day better. So full video will come out after I'm done testing with all this. So yeah, see ya guys. So guys, so we are using this Pixel OS build. Testing the Realme Cam or the OnePlus Cam, which came with the build. Uh, photo samples will also be added. Now just testing the video, like the 1080 60fps box on both front and back as well. Front uh, uh, works really, really fine. We'll see with the back. Ignore my eyes. My eyes are not <laughs> fully awake. Let me awaken my shining gun. Then my eyes will be fully awake. <laughs> well, you can see that everything really, really works fine on this. 1080p ultra steady also works. You can see my friend is walking ahead, and these guys are all traveling. 
and the motor vehicles. However, I feel that the microphone sound is what little bit less. That's what is a concern. Uh, so you might have issues when calling people, but that's not the case. The audio is low only when you, know, you are recording something. So there is no issue with the calls, and the camera also blows it away. We'll also use some photos so that uh, you guys can know how good is Realme Cam in front of the G Cam. So yeah. So guys, that was outdoors. This is with indoors. You can see the camera; it's still very much stable. We are here for our breakfast because our hostel. Not many students are there, so. We are coming to KP1 for our food. My friend is here as well, so yeah. Just testing the OnePlus camera. We'll also test the G Cam. However, you can see the focus does jump sometimes. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, very good morning. So this time I'm recording on the Pixel OS with with the G Cam. Obviously, it's a GC, so. 1080 fps was disabled as this is uh, the new version. So what I did was I enabled it through developer options, and you can see I'm going for having my tea. Also, there is some huge traffic here for unknown reasons. I don't know why there is a red carpet. I guess someone is coming. Not sure. So how are you all doing? This is uh, just the testing purpose and how the cam works and all in 1080p60. Uh, but obviously, uh, as you can see, these are good lighting conditions. It's just morning. We'll also test in the night time, or you can say in the afternoon time when there is little less light or something like that. I think you know, uh, good about the G cam is that the colors are really what uh, accurate. If you compare it with uh, the OnePlus One or the Realme camera which is ported, you see that the com uh, the colors on that you know are not a little bit uh, that accurate. But here it is. So prefer the G Cam more, but you know some people prefer to have a little bit uh, what do you call it more uh, whitish tone. So they can prefer that. So, but I'll prefer the G Cam anyway. So there are two G cams for now currently. One is this one, one is the MGC one. We'll also try with the MGC one. 